Hello, let's begin the reading course for intermediate level. We're going to start by looking at part 5 and we're going to be doing a little bit of vocabulary in this part but mostly we're going to be looking at some questions in greater detail. So, part 5, if you remember, is incomplete sentences. If you remember from the first lesson, we talked about the things you need to do in part 5. So each sentence will have one blank part. You will have a choice of four words, or these could be phrases. And you need to choose the one that best completes the sentence. Please remember that the sentence must be grammatically correct, as, also, as well as having the correct meaning. Right, so let's look at the first example. The sentence is, in the meeting, the client will be seated, the manager. Your four choices are A, next, B, by, C, from, or D, to. In this case, the answer is B, by. In the meeting, the client will be seated by the manager. Now let's have a look at why. You'll see that next requires two. So you'll need to say next to someone. They go together. B is correct, and B also means the same as near or beside. So if you imagine everybody sitting in a meeting, the client will be brought in through the door and will be seated next to the manager or by the manager or beside the manager. C is not correct because from points to the source of something. For example, milk comes from cows. And D is not correct because uh, to is used usually for destination. For example, I'm going to New York or I'm going to somewhere. Right, let's have a look at example two. If you haven't received the goods 15 days, you can request a refund of your money. The four choices, within, at, by, or from? The correct answer is within A. If you haven't received the goods within 15 days, you can request a refund of your money. Let's have a look at why. Within means between 1 to 15 days. So maybe you receive the goods on day 3, or maybe on day 10, or maybe on day 15 any time between 1 and 15 days, within that time. So the correct answer is within 15 days. You can't use B at because at refers to a specific time. So we would need to say if you haven't received the goods at 3 p.m. But that's also incorrect because you can't use at a specific time with present perfect. So if you look at the question that says haven't received, which is present perfect, using have plus PP. You can never use specific time with present perfect. So you'll need to remember that. That's a trick that you need to look out for. If you knew the grammar, present perfect, you would know that B is impossible as an answer. C, by, by a specific date. So you would need to say um, by the 15th of June. So you can't say by 15 days, because that's a period of time, 1 to 15 days. Um, if you say by the 15th of June, that's one specific date, by this time, which is not what the question is asking. And D, from, this is usually used for a start date, not an end date. So from this date to this date. So in this case, we can't use from. Right. Now, um, in those two examples, they were testing your preposition knowledge. So, let's do a little bit more practice on prepositions. Have a look at these sentences here and try to guess. I will give you a short time to guess what the preposition is. First one, I'm interested, marketing. Have a think. The preposition that goes together with interested is in. So these will usually go together, so you need to remember that and practice it. I'm interested in marketing. The next one, we waited the manager to arrive. So when you study this, your brain should automatically think